Ooh, it is good to be back. Throw some shop out today. I haven't thrown for like a week because I was in the Cayman Islands. I told myself I was gonna train when I was there. diving was just so exhausting that it took all my energy out of me but I'm back and I've got a great cue to think about that Koi Blair actually told me I'll explain that in a little bit but first things first is my first day without the roadie glove officially so I'm gonna tape up my wrist get some good warm-up into my wrist make sure it's uh, good and loose and ready to go and then hopefully I can get some bombs going today fingers all taped up as well as my wrist just to get some extra support for the wrist taping I went extra high up on my hand like I think it was Adam Nelson that was showing it I did a video on how to tape your wrist and stuff you can check that out I'll put a link in the description Right, starting with some stand throws. I'm throwing the 14 pound ball today. Just want to take it easy on my wrist. Don't want to go too heavy right away. It was just nice and easy. I'll start with like 10 meter throws. It doesn't even feel like I don't have the glove on. It feels so good right now. I right, get to think rotational throw. I just try to get up on the finish. Nope. to full throws right now the cue that I was actually given by Koi <laughs> the cue by Koi Imagination. Oh, I like that the cue that I was given by Koi was out of the back coming to the middle it's so hard to think about how to do this as I land in the middle it's starting to think of get forearm to 12 o'clock at the back of the circle and then on the finish uh, same thing same thing trying to get the forearm back to 12 o'clock so I'm gonna try to work on that today I was doing a couple drills the other day and it was really helping me stay wrapped up and get my foot open. So I hope I can find that rhythm again and then find the finish. Just keep drilling that, try to get that forearm to 12 o'clock, uh, land nice and open, and then I'll slowly try to work on the finish. Right now, forearm at 12 o'clock, foot open. So one of the big reasons I really like this cue and actually want to try it out in practice is, first of all, it's coming from another good shot putter, so that helps if someone can throw further than me, then, probably do something better than me anyway the other reason I've never had a cue to think about my off arm actively think about my off arm so trying to think about getting the middle of that forearm rather than your elbow or your hand or anything like that it helps me feel balanced over my left in the middle allowing my right foot to get open I like it it takes some practice getting used to it but it feels good open I just gotta find that finish eventually right now I'm just focusing on the arm at 12 o'clock at the back for my wrap and balance and I'm not thinking about the finish as much the only thing I want to add to the finish just to not be uh, like pulling off real hard hopefully is just trying to just get up on the finish right now that's gonna be the thought so arm at 12 o'clock get that foot open and then just nice and tall on the finish I feel super good, my foot's feeling open, which is amazing that I don't need to think about it as much as I did whatever, a week and a half ago when I threw last pretty much. I'm just saying my arm now is getting a little bent into the middle, so I'm just going to try to keep it a bit longer. That'll help me out of the back stay long, and it'll help me in the middle just to get even more wrap. I kind of didn't mean to reverse. But I feel like I might have done close to enough throws to do reverse now. That felt really good though. Ho 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 man. The cue from Koi. Thank you. I appreciate it. Feels super good right now. Same thing. Keep going. I'm going to stick with the reverses. Find nice easy rhythm. Get that foot open. Finish nice and tall. Try not pull off. Ah! I don't know about this cue, but it's a miracle. I'm feeling super grounded through the ring, just like staying low to the ground, I'm not jumping. It feels like my feet are working more. Uh, it feels like I'm wrapped up, feeling good. Anyway, the next thing I need to really think about is just getting up on the finish. Um, I'm kind of thinking so much about getting my arms at 12 o'clock and getting open that I keep forgetting about getting up on the finish. So I'm gonna really think about it on this. Throw. 
so good right now. Martin and I were just talking about some things. Take out of the back. Try to be super long over my right side. Um, get my left leg nice and long. That should give me more space in the ring. And hopefully I can get some more like uh, whip with my legs because they're as they're long and you bring it smaller, like a think of like a baller figure skater that like starts twisting wide and like wraps up. The same kind of concept with my legs. Like keep it long and wide, and then I'll accelerate by just squeezing my legs together, kind of. <laughs> Didn't feel as good, but my fingers. I'm gonna stop thinking about so much stuff. I'm at 12 o'clock, foot open. Keep it at that for now. Had a couple throws come off my fingers now, so I'm a little scared. I just need to. Get a few more throws so I'm not worried about it again. Martin's saying out of the back when I'm trying to be long. I'm more just like reaching and not actively like doing much of anything else. They're saying just be really cautious, keep opening my foot out of the back. Yeah, so my right foot open as well as like getting out. And that way I can actually be long and not still falling into the middle. Long, forearm to 12 o'clock, foot open. those. All right, moving the camera to straight ahead of the ring so you guys can see me trying to work my foot open and I feel like you just see kind of the off-axis movements if the camera's straight ahead or straight behind. Long out of the back, arm to 12 o'clock, and foot open. Those are three cues. Let's do it. I feel so good through the ring, but I really feel like I'm just not getting anything on the finish still. I'm not too concerned with that today. It's really just about getting the feet open. The arms at 12 o'clock are trying to be long. I feel super good things today, so really happy. That was such a crazy practice. After taking a week off, I got that cue while I was gone, probably like the first couple days into my trip. And I've been thinking about it the whole time and thinking about positions. And sometimes it's amazing how just thinking about positions and you know, watching videos and doing things like that are basically like getting reps and getting practice. So just me thinking about my throw and thinking about a position that I wanted to change when I got back helped me so much today. I think that was probably one of my favorite technical practices ever. My next favorite being the foot open day. But today I didn't need to think about getting my foot open. It just, I mean, I thought about it as one of the cues, but it just happened way more naturally today than it did, uh, whatever, two or three weeks ago when I was really thinking about it. And that was my only focus and that was the only thing I was doing today. It just came so much more natural. So I'm super happy with this cue. Definitely the miracle cue from Koi. So super excited. Thank you so much for uh, helping me out with that. I know today I wasn't also getting my arm to 12 o'clock on the finish. But for the starters, I'm trying to wrap up and get my forearm to like 12 o'clock. Help me stay balanced. It helped get my foot open. And the finish will come. I just need more practices grinding that out before I can start to add the next component to it. So just gonna keep grinding, keep chasing, and I think some really big things are coming this year. I'm super excited. But without using the roadie glove, my hand felt fine. I had a couple throws come off my fingers, but that's just kind of shot put. It happens to everyone, no matter what you do, really. Just gonna continue to strengthen it, continue to throw, and bump up that weight to 16 pounds again soon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed, subscribe for more. I'll be back very soon with another video. See you guys. So good right now.